weekend. If you are watching this on Restream, time for my weekly reminder that this is a live show. Join us live Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern time if you can. We'd love to have you join us live. When you're live, you get to hang out with the community, which join us in the chat, especially over on YouTube. They're good people. So make sure you join us for that. Otherwise, hey, you're going to get me. What are you going to get here today with me? Whether you're watching on Restream or live, you will get this guy right here, domain guy, been around domain names, especially just dot coms, investing in them, developing them, making millions of dollars from them. And I'm going to be looking through expiring domain names. These are domain names that somebody like had a dream. They went out and got a domain name maybe long ago. And then they decided to uh, you know, do something with it. And they got busy with other things. The domain's not renewed. And poof, it is going to be expiring. And that is an opportunity for you to possibly grab that domain name if it's good enough how do you know if it's good enough well that's what we look at here mondays 3 p.m is we try to find the best domain names like last week for example we looked at uh, let me pull up a screen in fact just really quick we looked at tarotcard.com that was one of the domain names that we looked at and just wanted to pull up on namebio.com namebio.com one of the tools we use occasionally Look here, you can see tarotcard.com ended up selling at auction for $19,000. Why did somebody pay for that? We'll go back to last week's episode and you'll see some of the conversation around why that domain name caught my eye and got some time talking about the development potential of it. So yeah, that's what we do here. And that's what we're going to do today. We are going to pull up the domain names. There's live domain names. So domains that are actually going to expire this week. And we are going to talk about the best ones. And then, of course, if you're watching us live, you can mention in the chat, like, I, what about this one? What do you think of this one? And I'll either, well highlight it or we'll skip over it either way there's lessons there along the way so if you are joining us live make sure you say hi in the chat let us know you are here i'm drew wash this domain to profit here we go from domain to profit domain to profit from a dot com to a business idea take a domain name develop an income from domain to profit we'll show you All righty, Coaster G, nice to have you with us. Bill, letting us know we missed the last three weeks, but hey, you're here today, and that is great. That's all that matters, right? Today, don't don't beat yourself up by any means, although we did have some good shows. The last two weeks have flown by with a lot of great domains. Hopefully, it keeps it up this week. Ian, nice to have you here, and uh, look at this. We got a... a uh, Lee joining us from across the pond. Uh, haven't he, he pops in and out? So Lee, nice to have you. Uh, I I believe Lee. Hopefully you've seen on Twitter uh, that we launched our website piece of our uh, of towing.com, uh, which Lee gave us some advice and things uh, to help us through that process. And if nothing else, Lee, you certainly. Uh, just gave us hope that we could accomplish it, which it was fun to uh, to get that done. In fact, Coaster G, who's in the chat, also is the one that took care of the renewals and secure certificates and all that stuff. Anyhow, a bunch of technical nerd stuff. Let's get to the domain names, which the technical nerd stuff is really fun, but we probably need to do that on a uh, different show or something. So as I mentioned over on Domain to Profit, what we do here is look at the expiring domain names and we typically spend our time here. This is expireddomains.net and expireddomains.net, it's a free site. So if you have any interest in what we show here, these domain names that on many occasions sell for hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars even, that somebody else had let expire that now becomes open to the auction market to be able to go to the top buyer, the one that has the vision that they're willing to put money behind the most. That is who can walk away with any of these domain names. If that is of interest to you, you will want to check out expireddomains.net. They don't pay us to say that. It's just 
a free service and we very much, well, we use it each week here. So uh, certainly worth checking out. Well, what you will find here on expireddomains.net is when you come in, it's not going to look like this. It's all customized, but it is a free account. You can set it up. Once you do, you will be able to save searches and filter searches. But here is where we spend our time on expireddomains.net. We go to Marketplace Domains, this tab right here off the home page, and then we click and we use the expired GoDaddy domains. And then in order to go from this, you'll see that there are over 300,000 domains expiring currently through here. Uh, well, we don't want to look through 300,000 domains. In fact, I, I would, we're only going to get to 200 to 400 domain names at the most probably 600 domains that we really look at today. Uh, so how do we get it from that down lower? Well, we need to set up filters, which you need an account to set up the free filters. So we get rid of numbers, we get rid of hyphens. Those things, they don't have their point or their place in an investable domain name. Very, very few exceptions to that, uh, but there are exceptions. People have paid big money for domains with those. Uh, but when you look at a, for example, over on name bio, where we were looking at the top of the show, where we looked at tarot cards that sold for over $19,000, namebio.com uh, lists all the sales that have happened over, well, not all the sales, they list all the public sales that have happened in domain names. Well, you'll find that there's very few hyphened and uh, number domain names. There are some number domains. Numbers are a little more common, but for the sake of development, which that's what this show looks at, Domain to Profit is not just a domain name, it's how you can turn it into a profit. In that case, it typically re requires development. And if you're gonna develop a domain name, you wanna make sure you have the best one so we get rid of numbers, get rid of hyphens. We are looking at English words, and that is right behind me here. English words, one to three words are what we set up on the filter. So I a lot of times hear from people that are like, hey, why not four words, why not two words? Well, most of the domain names that we're gonna look at are gonna stop at two words. Three words, there's a lot of, a lot of domains that get pretty good at three words still. That fourth word, uh, in most cases, the values are, are just, they're just not there. Very, very few exceptions to that. So because we're trying to go from 300,000 domains down to as few as possible to simplify our job of looking through great domains, well, we want to uh, take it down to three words. And a lot of times when I'm looking through domains myself, I will even take it down to two words. So for the sake of the show, I keep it at three, just to put that out there and make sure you know that. Uh, so over here, uh, you will also find, uh, well, actually, I guess, hopefully it shows up okay. No, it's not necessarily showing up all that great. But over on the ends and days, I set that up for eight days is, or what we look at. And what that is actually doing is saying, hey, we're doing a show on Monday, and we want to look at all the domain names that end before next week's show or around next week's show. So that means if you were watching on Restream, especially if you're not watching the week of January 23rd, a lot of the domain names we're going to look at will no longer be available. So the content of the actual domain names, uh, the lessons we teach, that that is evergreen you can you can apply these lessons to the domain names whatever week you're looking at but for the sake of the actual domain name possibly being something you can go and get yeah you've probably missed out as of that point so we are going to go finally to this additional tab up there and that additional tab we go here for one reason one reason only and that is to add in dot com only domain names Yes, that is correct. It's probably in some in some circles the most controversial thing we do. We take it to .com only domain names uh, here on Domain to Profit, and we have shows that explain why that is. Today is not going to necessarily be one of them. Uh, hey, how about this? I'll show you this. Let me go over to real quick. We were on NameBio.com, and one of the things you get with NameBio is all these registered, all these sales happened last week. Okay, I went ahead and did a search for that. And let's just do a control F for .com. 
And this, if you can actually even see it, I just realized you probably can't see the scroll bar. Just trust me, look at all these highlighted domain names, all that yellow over there, those are all .coms. So .coms, the domain name that people buy to make money, to, uh, to develop and so on. If you don't own the .com, you are really wanting the .com. You may like, like tell your buddies like, hey, I'm really happy with my .NET domain or my .AI domain or .whatever. I'm really happy. And realistically, you're delusional. And uh, <laughs> you, chances are you really wish you had the .com. So uh, we just skip over all that drama and uh, we don't want future therapy. Instead, we want to just find the best domain names and talk about them. And that means .com. So the valuation up there is a column since we are looking at GoDaddy expiring domain names. So when we went to the marketplace tab, GoDaddy expiring domains, that is, we're only looking at GoDaddy expiring auctions. There's several different places to go for auctions. You can see some of those other buttons up there. One of the nice things about GoDaddy auctions is the domain names that they have through their auction house, uh, they apply the valuation tab or valuation column here. Why does that matter? Well, it, it's just helpful more than anything else. The valuation does not mean value. It is simply a score that we get to click on that column, refresh that page, and what will happen is now we have all of the domain names from what GoDaddy is saying is the most valued domain name down to the least valuable domain name. And that just helps for the sake of this live show to bring the best domain names to the top. Let's see if we agree as we get going. So we just kind of zoom in and here we go. Goodfriday.com, popular saying, especially in the Catholic world, I believe especially, but not sure what you're gonna develop on it. Um, and I will also say that that is the one that is most valued by GoDaddy this week. Uh, currently over $1,400 with quite a few bids. If you have a good a business idea for it, yeah, justify $1,500 or more and move on. I like that, not something I'm interested in. Um, CCAL, aka a, a manatee, right? And I think, don't they call them sea cows? Not, I've heard from some people that will dive into the ocean or dive into uh, the Gulf or wherever they see these things or the streams around Florida, especially, and try to go swim with them, which I'm like, still a giant ass animal. Like, it seems kind of crazy. Promote yourself. What do you think of that one? Promote yourself. <sighs> I think we got to go look at it. Let's go look at it. Okay, so we're going to look at promote yourself. So this is what we do with these domain names. We don't just like say whether it's good. We don't just give you ideas on them, which we will do all of that. Instead, what I want to help you do as somebody that's interested in domain names is not just like, I want you to develop your gut, develop your gut feeling for whether a domain name is good. But behind that gut feeling, we have to make sure there is data. There needs to be data. There needs to be more than just your gut feeling. Otherwise, you, in many cases, are going to waste a lot of money on domain names. To find data behind domain names, we go here. This is spyfu.com, spyfu.com. And this is just a search engine tool. So they help you do all kinds of search engine optimization, uh, keyword analysis, and so on. But what we use this for is really analyze the pieces of our domain name. So what I've done is on Promote Yourself, I've copied everything but the .com. The .com, it's assumed, right? We have the best option possible, .com. Now we go over to SpyFu. I'm gonna paste that in there and then space out the word. So now what we've done is I've taken promoteyourself.com, spread it into two keywords, and we're gonna search SpyFu. This is how we pull in some of the data that we use to identify the best investment opportunities as far as domain names go. And here's some of the information we have. 90 monthly searches, eh, not very good. Uh, let me go ahead and do our Control F trick. So what I'm doing there is since I'm using a laptop, Windows laptop in my case, 
you can highlight the text or do a control F and paste in the text. And it's gonna search for all the instances of that keyword on the page. Sometimes it goes like this, yellow everywhere. Other times you're gonna find that it does not actually, uh, there's nothing. So this helps us gauge uh, other keywords, other opportunities that are the keywords in our domain name are used. In this case, is a pretty good example of it actually uh, showing up more frequently. So that, which is good. So we saw that 90 monthly searches over here, uh, that, that's not a whole lot. That, that's actually very, quite low for a domain name. But when you see all these yellows out here in the middle, these are similar keywords. These are other searches that people are doing that include our keyword. And I will tell you from search engine perspective, uh, you are much more likely to appear in long tail keyword searches like these rather than exactly the match of your domain name. You do have an advantage because you have the best domain name for it, but your content and so on is going to dictate the search engine optimization. That's the ranking and Google and Bing and, and others. Uh, so, but what this shows us is people are searching for uh, Twitch promote yourself. You're a Twitch too much streaming service. I uh, imagine some people want to promote themselves, get themselves in front of more people. Uh, how to promote yourself when you have no clients, how to promote yourself, how to promote yourself as a designer on Instagram and so on. And we you know promote yourself is code for market yourself, find an audience, uh, find people to pay and so on. And uh, then the next information that we look at when we reach a name, which I'm speeding up as of this point because I just don't like this domain name. I'm ready to move on. Uh, I want to see cost per click right here. Well, my hand's going to disappear there. I want to see the cost per click in that Google provided data to be $2 or more. And I also want to see this here, the, there's the number to reach the audience that's targeting this keyword. I want to see that in double digits, which right now it's zero. Sometimes we'll see that and it will be a, uh, a more of a bug or an error. In this case, as I believe it to be true, which is why we are moving on. Promoteyourself.com, the first domain name we checked out here. Uh, what about this one here? Initial coin offering. Does that sound familiar? An ICO? Uh, that used to be a popular thing. Nowadays, not so much. Uh, but let's go diving into it. So it ends in four days over on GoDaddy auctions, $105 currently, estimated value $7,500. According to GoDaddy, we will possibly add in our own valuation, which uh, on a domain name like Promote Yourself, it's already at $260. Uh, the data does not back up going very high. So in that case, it's going to go with uh, what is your price? Sometimes if I want a name uh, and I'm using my gut, I kind of fall on around uh, like 688, 888. Then I'll have a gut feel for a uh, even going a thousand some dollars. But I, I cap out up in there. But that's me. That is me in my investment level. Uh, where I trust my gut enough to go for a uh, four-figure domain name, you're probably so you may be somewhere else, and that's okay. Like that's okay. D invest at your level. So here's what I'm talking about on this one. You see 1,300 keyword searches for this domain name. So there's a little bit more happening. Uh, and then ICO initial coin offering is uh, that's what I was talking about when I said that. This was a thing a little bit more frequently. In fact, we probably will go look at Google Trends and I'll show you what I'm talking about there. Uh, so this was a more common phrase for a while, initial coin offerings. This is kind of like, I believe it's mostly that early crypto stuff, right? Like not so much nowadays, it was like early, maybe it's still considered coins. Now that nowadays they kind of switch to tokens, but as far as my limited knowledge of uh, crypto stuff goes, so I do like how much I did the control F. We see it light up with lots of opportunities, 1,300 searches for it. Uh, ICO initial coin offering, 1,400 searches. Uh, initial coin offering, 2007, exactly. Like that 2017, that's kind of more in the range of when I expect the name to be more valuable. 
is back in the 2017, 18. Just, it, this phrase fell out, and I'll show you that again. I'll mention that here in one minute, a couple, couple minutes, that is. Uh, cost per click over there, you see that people are still paying to reach it. Over $2 is the cost per click, but nobody's paying it. So at some point, they were paying $2 uh, a click for this keyword. So I do want to pull up a different tool that we don't look at all that often, but in cases of domains like this where uh, somebody's probably going to pay a good amount for this domain name, and it's not because of what it is currently, it's more or less because of what it was. I am now on trends.google.com, and I've done a search on here for, um, for initial coin offering, which is our domain name. So why did I bring you here? I want to show you some of the data, some of the ways that this key phrase that we have, the domain name, the .com for, right in front of us as an opportunity for a domain name. And you'll see there's really not much happening here. Uh, I want to show off uh, this last section right above my head. There was a period right through here that initial coin offerings, uh, that keyword shot up. Like that was a, a more popular phrase there for a while. Uh, but nowadays, as you can see, it's back down to not really being much of anything. Does this domain name have value still? Sure. Sure. It's three long words, uh, $105 currently, no advertisers. So I'm going to put this one. It's going to be hopefully if you are interested in initial coin offerings and you know what the heck that is, then you might want to put some money after it. Me, somebody that really has never used initial coin offering or ICO in vocab or in business, I have no interest whatsoever in this. 105 bucks is too much for me and I'm moving on. But I know there's some people out there that really like that industry. So cryptogas.com, uh, because we just did another crypto one, I'm gonna pass up on this one, but that's not a bad phrase uh, for a crypto domain. Sounds pretty good, gas being a fee of a crypto transaction. Real book, legalize cannabis. Yep, we're going with that. Legalizecannabis.com. Uh, sounds like a, a domain name that would have been really popular back in the early 2000s or even still. I mean, in the U.S., in the United States, it's more or less becoming legal or at least decriminalized. And basically, it is mostly kind of one-ish. Uh, 270 monthly volume searches for legalized cannabis, less than what I expected. Uh, Cannabot, let's go ahead and highlight it. Now, one of the things about the control F search is it has to be the exact match. That's why we do the, all the words. Uh, so one of the reasons I want to point that out is I just did a control F and nothing lit up, nothing other than the actual example up here at the top. So why is that? Why does that matter? Well, it matters because it means that all of these other keywords that are related do not use the phrase legalized cannabis. Cannabis legalization is 3,700 searches here. So this is a secondary domain name, what I would call a trailhead domain name. A trailhead domain name, I don't call it a trailhead domain name. I call it a beachhead domain name. <laughs> Okay, well, a beachhead domain name is a domain name that's maybe not the marquee domain name or even like one of the main domain names in a topic, but it is good enough to give you access. It gives you a beachhead to attack a certain industry. This is how we approach nearly every industry we've went after uh, up until the last few years. Uh, for example, towing.com, our main domain name that generates millions uh, it was started as autotowing.com. So we went from autotowing.com, our beachhead domain name. We were able to get that one for, I think it was $8,000 or so. And then we uh, developed it out, uh, tried our different theories and our business model. It started to be successful and I knew I had to get the .com. So that was our beachhead. We, we wanted to attack a specific area and I didn't want to go 
do what I ended up doing, putting my house on the line and buying towing.com for like $175,000. That's what ended up happening. I didn't want to do that right off the bat. I mean, we that's, don't do that. Don't, do, don't put your house on the line unless you are certain. And uh, you need to have a beachhead. And that's just like a World War II reference to the idea of Normandy. And you get in and then you can expand from there. That's exactly what we did. We got a good, a good enough domain name and got into an industry. Legalizedcannabis.com might be that domain name for you if you want to have access to larger keywords or more popular keywords like CannabisLegalization.com. So... That is a beachhead, not a trailhead. Trailhead would be where you start a long hike. Elevate your life, people. Premium offers spiritual wealth. Oh, here's one that I featured in the uh, pre, you know, I just realized. Let me highlight this. Uh, this is an enum domain name. It is slightly within two days. So my rule of thumb is I do not talk about enum domains unless they're within two hours because enum. So what I'm referring to there is the registrar. So this right here is the registrar. GoDaddy domain auctions will pull in domain names from other registrars. They have partnerships. Uh, and Enom is a registrar. They're a comp competitor of GoDaddy. So Enom puts their expiring domain names through GoDaddy's auction platform. One of the downsides of that is they can pull that domain name back all the way until just under two hours uh, or two days left. So we don't talk about them very often. In this case, we're going to, though, it is within two days. So I have a rule, just my general rule of thumb, I don't talk about enom domain names unless they're within two days, which this one just squeaks under. So there is a chance that it will be pulled back still, but I don't want to be a party pooper. I want to talk about partypooper.com. Okay, 11, uh, nearly $1,200 currently, two days left on this one. Uh, it may be pulled back, and it may not even be a great domain name, but let's go find out. I think it's fun. Uh, Matt in my office, who is out skiing right now, he was saying, and he set up uh, our Discord server, Domain to Profit. That was uh, sent out an email to everybody on the Domain to Profit list. Um, so let me come here for just one moment and just mention, we do have a Discord server. It is completely our research and development. It may go away. I don't know. As you know, I have fought tooth and nail against having a Discord server, but... Ultimately, I value you, and I want to hang out with the community more than just Monday for an hour. Uh, so Matt is taking care of setting up that Discord server. That same Matt is also out skiing, uh, but he mentioned PartyPooper.com to me, and uh, I was like, you know, that'd be a fun domain name just to pull out at parties. Like, you know, pull it out at parties. Like, oh yeah, I, I own PartyPooper.com. I don't. Maybe it's not fun. I don't. <laughs> That's my kind of fun, maybe not yours. Uh, 4,300 searches. So, hey, not to be a party pooper. Actually, you're not a party pooper. At 4,300 searches, the most searches we've seen for a domain name, the keywords of a domain name so far. So that's pretty good to know. What is a party pooper? Well, you can go look that up. If English is not your first language, it's some slang. I don't know if it translates into other languages. Party pooper being just somebody who's a buzzkill. They're just more slang, uh, they're boring or they, everybody else is having fun and it's the person that ends the fun. Uh, they're a party pooper. Uh, 4,300 uh, searches uh, and you can see here uh, that there are definitely plenty of people, so 540 a month are searching like, hey, this dude Drew on Domain to Profit mentioned party pooper. What the heck does that even mean? Well, there you go. So uh, there are other searches you can read or reach and but the main one is party pooper itself so 4300 searches this is where we're going to run into issues the cost and the money behind this keyword uh there's none nobody's paying to advertise for a party pooper nobody's like there's zero there's not even like somebody that's tried it before kind of thing uh in that case that means 
hey, if you're buying it for the fun of it, if you're buying it because you want it to be part of your brand, maybe you want to make fun T-shirts or something, then go for it. But ultimately, it's not really the kind of domain name that we would uh, pursue for revenue generation. Although this T-shirt option, that sounds pretty fun, actually. But we're moving on. Uh, it, and let me just say, uh, nearly $1,200 already. It is a common phrase. Uh, why would we put it on a T-shirt? That means it's more of a marketing domain name. Anytime there's a common phrase, slang, or something we see in advertisements, uh, that means that there's kind of already a brand established for that phrase, uh, just a common one. And in this case, we saw thousands of people searching for it. Uh, that is why people are paying currently about 1200 bucks, And I do expect that to go for more, um, just not really much money for us, though, in there. Make sense? I think so. So as you're looking down through this list, you may possibly be thinking like, oh, that's a good domain name. Oh, that's a good domain name. Why is he skipping that one? Why is he skipping that one? Well, what you will find with me is uh, there's a lot of almost good domain names in the world. And well, almost good domains are domains you waste your money on. So for the sake of this show, I'm only going to be talking mainly about the ones that are just, they're good, they're good enough to possibly get involved in. It's more of a matter of how much do you spend versus whether it's good to spend your money on. You can go after almost domain names all you want. I have a portfolio of almost domain names that uh, just kind of sit there and just take 10 bucks a year. Uh, and I drop, I actually dropping a few, just just heard recently that uh, got an email just before the show that one of my .NET domain names that I was letting drop, and it was going to epic.com's uh, name liquidate, it sold just before the show for like 99 bucks or something. So that was fun. We'll see if I get that money. I'll just use it for renewals. Because things are odd over there currently. Okay. Human change, road to wealth, tree savers, snap nation, fiction writers. Okay, let's go with that one. That one sounds like a thing, fiction writers. So the best domain names for development are going to be develop or domain names that paint a picture in your brain. When you hear that domain name, you know exactly what you're going to find on it. I say it is like a blank canvas, except for it's color by number. You can be a master painter, just fill in the number. Like number four, oh, that's red. You just paint it in. Oh, there's number four over here. Red, 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 red. Blue, 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 blue. Color by number. Next thing you know, you have a revenue generating business. Fictionwriters.com may be that kind of domain name. I hear fiction writers. I expect the domain name to possibly show fiction writers on it, a community for fiction writers, uh, how to find ghost writers that write fiction, who knows, all the different options for fiction writers. Let's dive into the keyword. Booty, booty. Okay, I'm opening all kinds of dialogues. Fiction writers with a bunch of spaces in front. Let's see how it goes. 320 monthly searches, so not really set any records. I'm guessing as far as ghostwriters and things go that uh, nonfiction is far more popular. Try that one more time with the F. Okay, fiction writers, now we've highlighted it out. We have science fiction writers, Christian fiction writers, female science fiction writers, apps for fiction writers, so on. So we have some other keyword data. 324 are actual keyword, which is fiction writers. Uh, although science fiction writers is 630, Christian fiction writers 600. So these up in here, well, they actually do better than our exact match, which I think is not necessarily a bad thing. But as we've been running into so far this show, not much money. At least today, at least with this one, we have three advertisers for reaching fiction writers. It's been in 27 cents. Uh, so if you want to buy a, 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 a soda, a, a cola out of a uh, vending machine, and you need that extra dollar, you can build out uh, 
fictionwriters.com. Not my thing. I'm going to move on. In fact, narrative. So I'll just stop here just briefly just to say uh, a lot of times I prefer the keyword my in domain names versus you. We saw one up above that was a you domain name. I like my versus you, and it's counterintuitive. And let me just say this, as a marketer, most of my headlines, most of my marketing, it is all you focused. You can get this result. You can get this benefit. But when it comes down to a domain name, something that my customer is actually going to type into the browser, in that case, that is a they are taking possession over that domain name. They are taking action. And I believe the word my is a better word for a domain name most cases, uh, but not all. All of these are just general rules, uh, like you narrative. No, even your narrative, eh, my narrative. Now I could picture it as a, uh, a journal. It could be you writing your biography or autobiography. Uh, it could be any number of different things. So I'll just, that moment, just say my is my preference for most domain names. Uh, if it's between my and you, I go with my. So it's kind of counter uh, marketing is all about like, hey, give you know, put it in their minds as you. Uh, but when it's a domain name, I, I believe typing it out as my is is a better way to go, more investable. I'll have to run some searches at some point to see. Let's do that right now, actually. Domain names haven't been lighting me up on fire. Let's go check over on namebio.com. Uh, keywords, let's see here, placement. We want to look at the start and um, I want to go see, let's go, let's go just quickly. We're going to compare the top sales of domain names with my at the beginning versus you or your, but you would show up. Okay. So right there I'm seeing uh, the first dozen or so or well, Myrtle Beach doesn't count. That doesn't count there. That's cheating. Uh, my world, my blog, my meeting, my premier card, my premier card sold again. Okay. Uh, my home, my card, my finance, uh, my, 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 my. We have quite a few of them, six figures. Just really quickly, let's go look at you, uh, which this will most likely, I think your is going to be the top ones, but we'll see. Hey, UXI. Uh, 2.4 million. That's that's big. That's a private sale. You pay, not a bad domain name. UI, you coin, younger. Uh, but you can see that the price drops off pretty quickly here. Like th this, it drops down. Not nearly as many six figure ones. Uh, the there's a group of the best domain names out there with you in it. Outside of that, eh, not really all that. Like for example, look at this one. Yourcompany.com. I mean, that sounds like a pretty good domain name, but every time somebody types that in, they're saying your company. If you run a company and you're typing in your company, doesn't it feel weird? Like, like you're talking about somebody else's thing, even though it's you. Uh, so I'd much rather have mycompany.com and, and so on. So uh, that's, I feel like that's an important, uh, that, that's not talked about nearly enough in the domain world. And uh, if I can give you that as just that one tip that you get from this show that you don't hear a lot of other places, there you go. My is better than you or your in a, uh, as an additional piece of a domain name. There you go. Okay. Ready to travel. I think that's all of us as we were coming out of COVID. Luckily, I've been able to travel more and I'm ready to travel more. Not going to look at the domain name though. Club Hauser. So I'm kind of curious also, if you want to in the chat, let me know, are you a me person or are you a you person? And by you, I mean you, your, 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 <laughs> uh, or something else. Like what do you look to to add that possessional or that individual piece of a domain name? I does not count for the record. You cannot use I. I is good for other reasons. I own some I domain names. I as in I, not I. So, okay. The local business. J 
just as much as I love my at the beginning of a domain name, I'm not a fan of the at all. Only if it's a perfect example, like the great outdoors, which we've seen on this show before. That was an example when I enjoyed a uh, having the at the beginning of a domain name. Again, mycandidates.com. So talked about it, mycandidates.com. I love it. So let's say that uh, you're an HR manager. You want to run a set. Let's go dive into this, actually. We'll talk about some interesting uh, business ideas and things. That some of them are popping into my mind. I see the domain name. It's painting a picture in my brain, and I want to share that with you. Uh, so possibly you are the person that will be the perfect buyer of this domain name. Currently over on Twitter, uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a pretty good community of people that are building out job boards. Job boards are website development projects. Domain names a lot of times that end great, like nutrition jobs, mechanic jobs. And these are job boards for specific industries. It's a common domain to profit uh, type business model that uh, a few over on Twitter are doing well with. So all these job boards there and they're putting up job boards and thing. What, how do you manage all those applications? If you're an employer and people are applying for your job, how do you manage that? Is there a process there? Probably not. But maybe you build something on mycandidates.com that handles the incoming resume and candidates search. Think of candidates as, uh, that's my first thought, is candidate as uh, somebody applying for in a position. Uh, so now you can build your own database of people that uh, are applying for the position. So maybe you want to keep track of, Okay, well, maybe they didn't get hired this time, but you want to keep them in your database. Well, this could be your database. Maybe it's a monthly or annual fee. Now, this is what I was just thinking. While I think of it as my candidates, as in people applying for uh, positions with my company, uh, you or others might think of it from this here. All these highlighted ones are more of a political type idea. Who are my candidates in 2018? Who are my candidates? Like, but I'll just tell you, like, that sounds so boring. Who wants to deal with politics? Not me. There's enough of it in the world. I want to uh, deal with my enterprise. So the question I would have to look at if I was pricing this domain name, we see that there's some advertisers. We see that the cost per click is $3.85 per, per click. Uh, so there's uh, we're meeting some of our characteristics. I want to see cost per click two dollars higher. I want to see advertisers at ten or higher. Uh, we're not seeing that exactly. And kind of worse of all, monthly search is only forty four. But that's not necessarily all that big of a deal. The question is, are those advertisers pol political stuff, or is it more along the lines of uh, business and in H and human resources HR? Uh, I would only want it if it was more of an HR thing. You can make it whatever you want to. It's a domain name. So uh, that one's going to actually get added to my watch list. Uh, based on the numbers, uh, it, it's, the numbers aren't going to matter to me. Realistically, I'm going to care more about the domain name from my gut. So the numbers, because it has my at the beginning, uh, like the numbers are going to suck. I, I kind of knew that going in. But because there's some money and I can see the tie into other domain name projects, my entrepreneurial gut that I've developed over decades is saying this one has potential. It's doing that color by number on a canvas for me. Uh, am I the person to build it? Probably not, which is why I will keep it on the low side. Uh, but I want to make sure it at least sells for uh, a reasonable, reasonable amount. Domain Explorer, nice to have you with us. If I'm, yeah, <laughs> I always see that the domain names, I try to piece them together. I believe it's Fred, but I, I, I anyhow, I, I don't want to make assumptions and uh, I don't have that good of a database of uh, logins. And Hugh, nice to see you as well. Islander, uh, a bunch of howdies kind of snuck in over time. Wow, 40 minutes into this. Let's find a great domain name. 
church analytics. I feel like that could be a thing. Just I'm I'm not going to dive into that one. Uh, but hey, church analytics. If you want to run numbers, uh, counts, anything for for church type thing, boom. You can't get a better domain name for that. I'm just not sure if that's a thing. I, uh, I, I it's probably a thing. Quotes. Uh, just mention, even though it has a bunch of search engine backlink traffic, quotes pictures. I don't, I don't like it. That that middle s, even if it is talking to about quotations or like quotes of other people, it's just a confusing domain name. And so I'm gonna, I would skip that one. What you think? What you think? Almost sounds like a marketing type domain name. Jointure. I mean, that sounds like an interesting brandable domain name. Green Renewable. Green Renewable. I don't know if that's good or not. It sounds like buzzwords that are popular nowadays. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. My gut says, eh, but my gut doesn't. My, I, I don't trust my gut all the time. And you'll find that some of the best deals that we found are when Drew ignores his gut, checks out the stats, and it ends up being a big keyword. In this case, it's middle of the road, not really set any records. Did a control F, nothing highlighting. 125 monthly searches for green renewable. Nothing really happening in this middle section, nothing higher over in the questions. Uh, no money, no advertisers. Okay, my gut was right. That's not always the case. May have been around domains, may have been doing this show for 130 weeks, but it does not change the fact that uh, I, I just, I don't always want to trust my gut, especially when something like that, I know renewables and things are pretty savvy. They're pretty uppity up still. I don't think, I'm guessing they're past peak, but you know, we'll see. Vermouths. The nastiest part of a martini. <laughs> Does anybody actually drink vermouth? I don't. I, th I swear that every bar probably has one vermouth that they just don't even bother to use when they make a, a martini. I'm a gin. I drink gin, so I'm a little classical on my martinis. Although, I don't think people add vermouth unless it's classic. Talking to myself as I'm looking through these for the most part. Remote codes. I feel like that could be a fun SaaS or a little security thing. Not for this guy. That sounds like uh, I don't like to deal with stuff where the security, people are going to be trying to hack it and all this other. Like remote code sounds like uh, passing garage door codes or vehicle lock codes or something. Too high tech for me. Uh, that is something that somebody else is going to go after but possibly a good domain name. Let me uh, pull up this comment as I, so I can process it. Is the backlinks in search traffic similar kind of thing in expired domains? Um, search traffic. So the backlinks, which is this, this column here, uh, is a metric that they that expired domains pulls in that looks at some of the backlinks of a domain name. So it's kind of search engine optimization. If it's been used before, it's going to have some backlinks. A lot of people pay big money for these, but that is a different show. That is not this one. Uh, I don't believe in domain names for search engine optimiza optimization reasons. Mostly just it's not my thing. I, that's how I got started. I wasted a bunch of money. Uh, so, but I will say uh, you can, people pay for backlinks in, in domains with backlinks. For the sake of search traffic though, search traffic are people that are typing in those keywords into the search engines. Uh, so I don't know if I can say it's the same or not, uh, but I like the, like I'm not against having backlinks. I will spend money based on people searching for the keywords. I won't spend money on search and optimization domains one time. Uh, and I recently over the last few years, I probably put extra money in for SEO purposes 
And again, I was reminded that was stupid. I, I shouldn't have done that. I wasted money. So then again, I, it, I'm referring to, I believe, I think the domain name I'm referring to was my six figure purchase of dog groomers. Uh, I think for like $104,000. I, I justified part of the purchase price because it was developed at some point and had some backlinks, but realistically, it was just a bad decision. I was trying to justify it with those backlinks, but Hey, you know, you live, you learn eventually. In fact, this year, uh, we will see dog groomers, uh, developed and showing dog groomers on it because we are wrapping up our system that I call develop it, develop it .com. Um, now at first, at first, develop it's going to be for us internally uh, to use, to play with, to use and abuse. Uh, but eventually, my plan is to open it up to where others can develop their domain names with it. Uh, if you have a really, really good domain name and want to be kind of that beta, part of the beta things, uh, let me know and we could talk about it. It needs to be a domain name with probably close to six figure search volume when we do the spy foo for your domain name.com only. Uh, outside of that, it's just going to have to wait. Uh, it, we just have way too much other stuff because it's going to be a manual process to do it. Anyhow, I, I need to do a separate stream at some point to talk about develop it because I'd love to get some feedback and conversation on it, uh, questions about the best way to set some of the, th the things we're struggling with, how to overcome remote IT jobs. So that's one of those domains that uh, I was just talking about a little bit for my candidate, remote IT jobs. Not really my thing. I know of other good domain names or, or websites that are already out there in that space. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me see here. Um, yeah, Hughes mentioned it's good in development. It. Yes, I agree. Uh, domain Explorer asking, uh, develop my own registrar. I would love to own a registrar. When I looked into it, uh, it's just not going to happen. So, um I looked into it for a little bit. Uh, my domain names are with a registrar called Epic, Epic with a K. Uh, and I very much want to support them. And it's becoming more and more difficult to support them. Uh, and because of that, uh, I don't know where to go. So um, I was looking briefly at running my own registrar. It's just not a thing. Like, it's just not it's not really possible to set it up. It's, it's much more, I don't know. Basically, I, I gave up on that pretty quick. Uh, I did find out that you're better to buy a registrar, buy somebody an existing registrar than to uh, try to start a new one. Either way, I'm not going to do it. That's a distraction. I want domains to profit. And I will tell you, registrars do not make money. Like, they don't make money. GoDaddy makes their money from this. They make their money from auctions, from all their hosting. They don't make money from the registrar part of their business. Just doesn't, like, they don't, there's just nothing there for them. You know, if you pay 10 bucks for a domain name uh, per year, the person making money off of that is, is uh, VeriSign. I think it's Ver yeah, VeriSign who handles that. Like all the fees go elsewhere. They don't, uh, the registrar gets very little of that. So even if you have thousands of domain names and you're paying tens of thousands of dollars in renewals a year, the registrar mostly does that for very cheap for you. It's almost like an automated service. So, yeah. See if we get one more domain name, then we will summarize the show. Not really any great domain names so far this show. So last week's show, we had some great domain names. If you missed out on that, you missed out on the opportunity to watch some epic, with a C, domain auctions come to close, including tarotcard.com. I was out at like $5,000 or something. I, it, it went for like $19,000, which 
I think I said in my uh, estimated price on it that it could go for 15, 16, uh, but hey, you get some people with money in there. Uh, it's always possible. I like content coaching. So if you're somebody that uh, helps small businesses with their social media marketing, their SEO or something, you would may possibly be somebody that does coaching for content. What content to write? What content users? In that case, some videos, some different trainings, uh, and content coaching might be a thing. Let me click on it. This will be our last domain name. We will look briefly at contentcoaching.com, and this gives me an opportunity to mention since it's twelve dollars, do not bid. Do not bid on this domain name. Do exactly what I'm going to do. Click on the watch list and wait until five minutes left. Or actually, just if it's twelve dollars and there's no bids, don't bid on this thing. And you can get it for fifty dollars on the other side. And you might say, Drew, why would I pay fifty dollars for a domain name if I can bid on it for twelve dollars? And the answer is, you will find once you bid. Uh, others will bid. So they don't want to miss out. So sometimes it's best just to let a auction with no bids go all the way through the process and go to buy now. Um, you'll actually pay less if you buy it for 50 bucks than to, to start the auction. Content coach is 190 searches, content coaching 44. Uh, you may want to check the trademark on this one. Content coach looks like it might be a thing. No money, no advertisers. Uh, so could just be fun. All right. Well, let's do a summary. How about that? Uh, what do you think about the chat GTP? Uh, ha Domain Explorer, I appreciate the questions. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think it's very cool, actually. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of uh, the innovation behind chat GPT. I always get that wrong. Uh, I also think... Uh, it's it's a bit dangerous, really. <laughs> um, dangerous only from the perspective of everyone who's ever created and wrote something up to this point in time. So uh, if you've been a writer, put content out in the world up to this point, then your content matters more than the rest of history. Like it really is a before GPT and after. And because these models are trained off of past writing, all the writing and digital content up to this point trained it, and now people are going to start using chat GPT to generate content, which is going to circle back to essentially training it almost on itself is what I'm guessing. And the result is if you've wrote content up to this point, it's more valuable than any content that will come afterwards generated by AI. Uh, I don't know if that matters, but it does to me. Okay, so content coaching in in seven days, twelve dollars currently. Wait till the last minute to bid on this one if you're going to go for it. Uh, uh, on this one, check trademarks. Uh, I think it's general enough, generic enough that you should be okay, um, but you may want to check it out. It might not be worth going after. Greenrenewable.com uh, wasn't much on the data side. Ends in four, five days. Ends in five days. Hundred dollars currently. Uh, into that thing, then you might want to go for it. MyCandidates.com, one of my favorite domain names from the show. I did add it to my watch list. I like it for some kind of SaaS, software as a service, where you maybe help people manage the uh, those people that apply for a position to their company. Not sure what that would look like. Not high on my priority list. Uh, but I want to make sure this domain name will go for uh, something above what I value. I, I'll easily put in 188 bucks on this possibly even get it to 388 um i don't know we'll see <coughs> oh, excuse me um four days left on that one fictionwriters.com one day left on this one so it's going to end tomorrow this is one of those domains that you should be watching live and if you're not you're going to miss out on fictionwriters.com 750 dollars currently uh, on that one. Partypooper.com, the most fun domain name we've had. Don't be a party pooper. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> uh, nearly $1,200 currently ends in two days. I could see that one going for crazy, silly amounts of money, partly just because it's fun. And we did see that there were thousands of searches for party pooper. Uh, so if people just want exposure, want to put it on a fun t-shirt or something, 
partypooper.com could be a fun little domain going for 1200 bucks currently. Ending next week, right around the time we're starting next week's show, legalizedcannabis.com, $20 currently. Uh, and when we did our control F on this one, we saw that legalize uh, cannabis legalization, I believe, was the more common phrase. This is what I call the beachhead domain name, a domain name that gives you access to an audience, but probably not the what they're actually searching for. It's an almost domain name that's close enough to possibly get. How about that? That just confuses it all. <laughs> it just confuses everything. Okay, but that one ends just before or as the show starts next week. Initial coin offering, that is so like five years ago or so, uh, which is what the trends data showed us on this one. $105 currently, ends in four days. Uh, if you're into old tech, then you might be interested in it. Promoteyourself.com, I don't hate it. I don't love it either, but Promote Yourself sounds like a pretty good brand. It does have some different searches for it. $260 currently, ends in two days, promoteyourself.com. And now I'm looking over my tabs. Uh, the one last thing was we did set up a Discord, uh, and uh, I am going to add a link to the email subscription list over on domain to profit.com or from domain to profit.com or dtp.tv one of the few non.com domains i own but dtp domain to profit dtp.tv uh, if you sign up on the mailing list you will get an email about it but i'm gonna need a little bit of time after this so if you're watching live uh, watch it again and you'll have it out there uh, but the link that you're going to get each week is going to include that link to the uh, to the Discord as well. It's an experiment. Don't know if we'll keep it or not. Uh, but at the same time, I did want the opportunity to interact with everybody and have our content somewhere, our conversations and the lessons that we learn outside of this hour that we spend together. So uh, thank you for everybody joining me in the chat. I do appreciate it. I love the questions, especially Domain Explorer. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you to Hugh and uh, all the other uh, comments and supporters that were out there. If you've not, please make sure you've liked and subscribed to this channel. If you like domains, you like business, and you like somebody that has way too much energy and enthusiasm about something like domain names, then you're in the right place. That is what this is. So with that said, we are going to be wrapping things up here on Domain to Profit. I am Drew Wash. Thank you for joining me. See you over on Twitter, possibly over on our Discord, and see you next week, 3 p.m. Take care.